around the year 2033 within a much more tech-based and reliant world, Nathan Brown is a 27-year-old computer coder with girlfriend Ingrid Kahneman. On his way back from getting some groceries, Nathan's car malfunctions, plowing straight into a parked vehicle. With his vitals dropping, Ingrid suggests he be uploaded so that they can remain together forever. Nora is his customer service rep, helping him through his upload. Everything, including the afterlife, must be paid for, but thanks to Ingrid's money, he can afford to go to Lakeview. Nathan takes a while to settle in, while Nora tries to convince her father to be uploaded when he passes away. Her father is ill and doesn't believe in this tech-based world, wanting to join his wife in heaven. Nathan meets Luke, a vet of the Iran war. With Nathan struggling, he attempts to jump into the torrent and end his death. Nora stops him, telling him her name and describing the day she's had, which is against all protocols. With her shift over, Nora leaves, however some corrupt memory files of Nathan's are opened and deleted. Due to his attempted suicide, Nathan has therapy with Ernie within Lakeview, a therapy dog. Meanwhile, Nora gets a loan for her father's upload but needs a signature for the employee discount. She'll get the discount if she reaches a 4.8 rating by the end of the day. Nathan meets David Choke, who believes he was murdered after Nathan tells him that he wrote a program that allows anyone to save their own uploads, creating your own digital afterlife to pass down to friends and family for free. Nathan's death is subsequently being investigated by his cousin Fran, who's suspicious that his car has no recordings or data about the crash. Nathan tells Nora about his memory loss, giving her five stars to boost her rating after she tells him about her father. She manages to fix one of his corrupt files, finding out he was preparing a software deal before his death. The very first download into a clone body is performed, proving to be unsuccessful, much to Nathan's dismay. In the meantime, he prepares for his funeral, with Nora watching in New York, meeting three of Nathan's former girlfriends. At the funeral, Fran pesters Ingrid with questions, getting nowhere. Nathan discovers that his family didn't get much as his software deal was unfinished. On top of this, he's majorly disappointed by Ingrid's speech at the funeral, as she talks about the download rather than him. Fran approaches Nathan, claiming the car was tampered with, wanting to sue the company. Whilst Josh Pitzer refuses to give any information away about the deal with Nathan's software to Nora. Nora shows Nathan the various plans at Lakeview, including what those less fortunate can buy as their afterlife. Meanwhile, his and Ingrid's relationship is strained, whilst he and Nora get closer. Wanting to fix things, Ingrid arrives at Lakeview using a sex suit. However, Nathan is having problems, and so she calls in Nora to help. Fran continues her investigation, finding out that Ingrid went back to the car as Nathan collected the groceries that night. Back home, Nora reinstalls the nightly app and whilst hooking up with Byron, imagines Nathan. Dylan, a now 19-year-old who died when he was 6, is frustrated when his family, bar his mum, have seemingly moved on from his death. Still trying to fix things, Nathan and Ingrid have couples therapy, with Ingrid admitting she didn't know whether Nathan's vitals were improving or not as he was being uploaded. After therapy, Nathan offers to look after Dylan whilst Nora visits her father. Nathan and Dylan join Luke in going to the grey market in order to purchase hacks to enter a real party. Dylan runs off, however, obtaining a hack himself to update his avatar to something more his age. He wakes up the next day with the body of a young woman, however. Returning, Nora manages to reprogram his avatar back to its original form and gets some help on fixing some more of Nathan's memories. On her way to see Josh Pitzer, Fran's car malfunctions, driving off the end of a pier. Check out this video on the complete history of the Darksaber so far, or perhaps you need a reminder of Space Force Season 1. Try this video on what if The Amazing Spider-Man 3 had happened. Nora's dad advises her to actually get to know Byron, disapproving of her growing feelings towards Nathan. 
Nathan's niece, Nevea, tells him about Fran's passing as well as the sleepover she's going to have with Ingrid. They get on quite well, resulting in Ingrid telling her family to leave after they treat Nevea badly. Meanwhile, Nora takes her father's advice and shows Byron her work. However, after he mocks it, it puts Nora off. She instead spends the rest of the night with Nathan, showing him her office. Ingrid gives Nevea a present. She says she snuck back to Nathan's car the night he died, putting it on prioritized occupant mode, taking his jacket also. Nora admits to Nathan that she doesn't think that his death was an accident. The next day, Nora gets into trouble due to her close relationship with Nathan, with Ingrid attending a support group admitting that she kissed Nathan's best friend and business partner, Jamie. Nora sees a report that Josh Pitzer has died, noting that someone is trying to get rid of anyone involved in Nathan's program. Still trying to convince her father to upload, Nora gets Nathan to give her father a tour of Lakeview. Meanwhile, Nora sneaks into her boss's office, searching for something related to pizza or lost memories. She finds an unknown employee has access to Nathan's memory files. However, someone leaves a bomb in the server room, going off, sending the servers down temporarily. Nora's father, meanwhile, sees the appeal of uploading, but still is not convinced. Nora is suspended for spending too much time with Nathan, with him finally admitting his feelings towards her unaware her boss is in control of her avatar, rejecting him. No longer wanting to be with Ingrid and being rejected by Nora, Nathan asks his mum to help him find another afterlife within their price range. Alicia tells Nora that he's left the system, sending her to LA to see Ingrid, assuming he's with her. They both visit Nathan's mum, with Nora noticing a sketchy guy observing them. This man steals the case holding Nathan's drive, chucking it into the water. However, Nora swapped Nathan's drive out for a fake once she realized something was off. Later, she tells Nathan that he needs to break things off with Ingrid before he admits anything to her. Lakeview has an update ready, with Nathan trying to build up the courage to break up with Ingrid. Nathan finally manages to get through to Jamie, his friend, who admits he hooked up with Ingrid, apologizing offering Nathan enough money to stay on the lower levels of Lakeview for a few months. With that sorted out, he talks with Ingrid, who reveals to him that people wanted him out of the way, that she was protecting him. Learning from IT that uploads awake during the update have their memories restored, Nora convinces Nathan to stay up. Ingrid protected Nathan by going back to turn on occupant priority after overhearing her father. Meanwhile, Nora gives Nathan a device that allows him to see the code and change it of things in Lakeview. She sneaks back in during the update, waking Nathan up, but comes to realize that he might not remember her if his memories are restored. Nora continues the update, with Nathan waking up the next morning, memories restored. One of which is of Ingrid's father being interested in buying the code of Nathan's project. He too is interested as he needs the money to provide for his family, not as well off as Ingrid's. Nathan doesn't remember Nora, but later tells Luke that he does. He simply didn't want to face her, knowing what he now does. He moves to a lower level, to a two gig room, confessing to Nora. The man who tried to destroy Nathan's hard drive breaks into Nora's apartment whilst they talk, eventually going after her. Nathan manages to use the device she gave him to hack into an elevator, killing the man. Nora's dad agrees something seems fishy as she confesses her feelings to Nathan. However, he can't respond as his data is used up for the month. And so, Nora heads off with Byron, hoping to stay hidden for a while. Ingrid visits Nathan, revealing she uploaded for him. His reaction uses up the one gig of data she gave him, prompting Ingrid to call for tech support as the light flickers out.